so this is where it officially ends. We wait here to get onto the uh, bus to go to the airport. While I watch all the people getting ready to go on the bus to go back to the parks. My time has ended here. But we'll be back. It was a nice time. It really, really was. Two and a half days. I'm going to miss the palm trees. Especially when the winter winds blow. And those dark stormy clouds come rolling in. I'll be thinking of that right there. The palm trees. I'll be thinking of that right there. Those palm trees right there. The one difference about this trip was we didn't have a car with us. So we couldn't like leave the Disney uh, property. We usually head towards the beach one day, which is always really nice. Get out of the uh, Disney World. I used to live in Florida, so it was nice to uh, go to the beach. Uh, sometimes we'll even stop at a restaurant. We have a couple favorites we like to go to all the time. A Perkins, believe it or not, for breakfast right outside of the gates. And then there's a place I like to get seafood sandwich. It's a it's a, like a sports bar, but it's called the Ale House. It's just eighth of a mile right down the street from uh, once you leave uh, Disney World, go out Lake Buena Vista Drive. But the next time we'll be here together, Sandy and I, and we'll be at Saratoga Springs in January. So we'll, uh, we'll be uh, sharing that video with you. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Follow along. We're always having fun and we want to share it. That's the biggest part of it, sharing it with you. A lot of people don't get to come to this Disney World. Walt Disney World. There's a Magical Express. I don't think it's mine though. Well, I'm off to the airport. It was fun. See you guys real soon. Take care. Be safe. And I hope you make it to Disney World. If you don't, subscribe to the channel. Might be my boss. Turn my head around for a second and it pulled right up. Got a question for you. You get over to Hollywood Studios in Star Wars Land. Yeah? All right. Now, you heard about the Star Wars Hotel, right? It's going to be opening early next year. We're going to pass by it. Now, on our way off the property, I'll bring it to your attention. It is um, not a very big place. My guess is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 200 guests at any one time. Now, Disney's marketing it much like a cruise line ship. Uh, two adults, two days, two nights, all inclusive, fully merged and into Star Wars, deluxe accommodations, 5,800 plus tax. Yeah, when you gotta call a mortgage broker, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll show it to you on the way out. You'll be completely underwhelmed. It's like a two and a half story large gray warehouse. Yep. <laughs> the only thing themed out on the outside of the building is the very front entrance. And uh, that's it. The rest of it uh, doesn't really matter to the guests that are going to stay there because you're just going to be inside the entire time like you're in a giant spaceship. those trees and see the big long gray warehouse right there that's the star wars up there